All right. Hello, I'm Fred from IronDB. A little bit about me. I'm an engineer at Circonus.com. I've been an open source developer for since 2000, so almost 20 years. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, my handle is Fred Moyer with a P, and uh, our company uh, IronDB is also on Twitter with the same handle, IronDB. So what's IronDB? Um, we designed it to be a direct replacement for the time series database that you use today. Um, there are no changes to the way that you ingest data. There are no changes to the way that you re want to read or visualize your data. Um, it has the design goal of taking care of all of the stuff that you don't want to deal with. Scalability, reliability, operational headaches. Um, you just want your time series database to work. You don't want missing data, empty graphs, or cluster downtime. A customer of ours has over 300 million metrics, and that data is replicated three times. They're running this on a cluster of about 30 machines. Um, they've got dozens of users pulling graphs and some very complicated queries on those graphs. The key for them is that they didn't have to change their ingestion pipeline or rewrite any of their dashboards. It was designed for a low operational overhead. Um, you're going to see some great presentations here by smart people about scaling other time series databases to huge levels. Um, we designed IronDB, uh, IronDB so that you can do the same thing without needing to go out and get that specialized operator expertise. Um, we're spending a lot of time you know, trying to do that. IronDB is distributed. It can scale across dozens of nodes. It doesn't use consensus protocols, which is something we're proud of, and that's allowed us to focus on operational efficiency and performance. IronDB is replicated. It allows you to keep as many copies of the data as you need, and we typically recommend three copies. IronDB is reliable. If a node dies, you just replace the hardware and IronDB takes care of the rest. You don't need to bring your cluster down. Um, and by the way, if you want to increase your cluster size, you just add another node and IronDB takes care of the rebalancing. We've done all the work there for you. IronDB is multi-data center. It scales across data centers without needing specialized operator knowledge. You just configure a node and it takes care of everything. You don't need expensive load balancers or complicated HA proxy setups. If you use graphite, you don't need a complicated carbon relay setup. And so today, we are pleased to announce the beta release of our IronDB Grafana data source. Our data source unlocks uh, the cool new features of Grafana's heat maps and histograms. I'm sure everyone's seen those on the Grafana website. We store histogram data natively in IronDB, and you can use the Grafana heat map to display that directly. In IronDB, along with the average that we store, we also store the derivative, the standard deviation of the derivative, the count, the counter, which is the positive derivative, the standard deviation of that counter, as well as the standard deviation of the average. So that's a quite a bit of data. The reason we do that is so that you don't have to do calculations within the Grafana dashboard. We can provide that data directly, which is a performance benefit. And lastly, we've integrated the Circonus Analytics query language called CACL into Grafana. Everybody tracks the 95th percentile, but nobody can tell you how many users got screwed over in that 5% beyond it. We can. You can also do day over day, week over week, comparison and forecasting of your traffic. We're also pleased to announce that we'll be open sourcing our RED dashboard. RED stands for Rate, Errors, and Duration, an emerging paradigm for visualizing service health. There's a great talk here by Tom Wilkie about RED dashboards, and I think it's following uh, this talk. So uh, rate, how many requests per second is your service doing? This is from our uh, Grafana data source. How many errors per second is your service experiencing? Uh, the graph here shows zero, so that's a good service. What's the latency of your service requests? This is the uh, Grafana histogram view, which shows the request latency over a time period as a histogram. We store the data natively as a log linear histogram and can send it directly to this visualization. And along with that, uh, this view shows the duration as a heat map in Grafana, which is essentially a histogram over time slices. Uh, we love Grafana, and this new visualization is one of our favorites. We'll also be open sourcing our use dashboard for the RNDB data source. Use is a paradigm for visualizing host health metrics. Use stands for utilization, saturation, and errors. Utilization. What's the current utilization of CPU, memory, network, and disk on your system? Saturation. How saturated are these resources? This network saturation graph shows packets dropped and TCP retransmits, something, you know, two indicators you see when your resource has become saturated on the network. 
We have similar uh, saturation metrics for CPU and uh, disk. Errors. This graph shows network errors, and it looks like we've got one in there. Uh, a quick sneak peek at the IronDB features that we'll be dropping soon. Um, you'll be able to drop IronDB in as a Prometheus storage backend, which should give you years of data retention. And we'll also be releasing metrics stream tags. You can sign up for early access to our Grafana data source at our booth downstairs, and we'll have preview accounts with free metrics for folks here. Our, uh, the guy who built this, the VP of engineering, Riley, is right over there. Um, where your hand, Riley. And uh, our data scientist, Heinrich Hartman, is also here who can answer any questions about that. Thanks, and have a great conference. <laughs>